नमस्ते वेलकम टू द्लास ऑफ बायो केमिस्ट्री वेर वी विल टेक यू थ्रू बायोसिंथेसिस ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायोसिंथेसिस ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल ऑकर्स इन एवरी एनिमल सेल थ्रू सेवनटीन स्टेप्स फॉर कम्यूनियंस ऑल सेवनटीन स्टेप्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव प्रोसेस द की ऑफ रिमेंबरिंग द प्रोसेस लाइज इन रिमेंबरिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बायो केमिकल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द प्रॉपर सिक्वेंस The steps are divided into five distinct processes. Process one is the synthesis of mevalonate. Process two is the conversion of mevalonate to isoprene. Process three is the synthesis of squalene. Process four, the synthesis of lanosterol, and process five, the synthesis of cholesterol from lanosterol. Let us now see the first process, that is synthesis of mevalonate. Here we see a figure of a normal eukaryotic cell. The products of glycolytic cycle in it are subjected to an amphipatic citric acid cycle in the mitochondria. Yeah, which pours out citric acid in the cytosol surrounding the mitochondria. Here the citric acid is converted into acetyl coenzyme A. These acetyl coenzyme A. are the precursor of cholesterol two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a are condensed this condensation reaction is catalyzed by thiolase and it forms acetoacetyl coenzyme a forming a molecule of coenzyme a the molecule of acetyl coenzyme a is acted upon by an enzyme 3 hydroxy 3 methyl butyryl coenzyme a synthase the activity of this synthase enzyme converts acetoacetyl coenzyme a into 3 hydroxy 3 methyl butyryl coenzyme a which is popularly called as hmg coa hmg coa in the next step is converted into mevalonate by the enzyme 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coenzyme a reductase hmg coa reductase the structure of mevalonate contains pentanoic acid having two hydroxyl groups one at third position and one at fifth position it also contains one methyl group at third position now let us see process 2 that is synthesis of isoprene from mevalonate the mevalonate is phosphorylated utilizing coenzyme atp and cofactor magnesium divalent ions the phosphorylation occurs on the fifth position to form mevalonate 5 phosphate which is again phosphorylated to mevalonate 5 diphosphate this is mevalonate mevalonate kinase converts it into mevalonate 5 diphosphate Mevalonate 5-diphosphate is then converted to mevalonate 3-phospho-5-diphosphate by the action of diphosphomevalonate kinase. Here, one molecule of ATP is utilized for phosphorylation. Mevalonate 3-phospho-5-diphosphate is decarboxylated with removal of 1-pyrophosphate by the enzyme 
diphosphomevalonate decarboxylate. This gives isopentyl diphosphate. The isopentyl diphosphate undergoes isomerization to 3,3-dimethyl allyl diphosphate. Here you can see the site of unsaturation changes its position from third to second in the product. Later it is followed by a condensation process where both the molecules that is isopentyl diphosphate and 3,3-dimethyl allyl diphosphate condense to form geranyl diphosphate. This condensation reaction is catalyzed by cis pranyl transference. This geranyl diphosphate further condenses with isopentyl diphosphate to form farnesyl diphosphate. The same enzyme catalyzes the conversion of geranyl diphosphate into farnesyl diphosphate. Farnesyl diphosphate you can see is a 15 carbon molecule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two molecules of farnesyl diphosphate condense in a peculiar way to form a 30 carbon molecule called squalene. This formation of squalene is synthesized by enzyme squalene synthase. Now observe this molecule very minutely. The structure of squalene is peculiar. Here, the last carbon of squalene of farnesyl diphosphate it condenses with the last molecule of other mo last carbon of other molecule of farnesyl diphosphate. To simplify, let us learn to represent the molecule of squalene in a way to resemble cholesterol. Process 4 that is synthesis of lanosterol. Squalene is Converted to squalene epoxide, catalyzed by enzyme squalene epoxidase. See here, this position 3 and position 4 in squalene is converted into epoxide utilizing this one methyl group. Squalene epoxide undergoes electron transfer to cyclize the molecule. The pi electrons here. They are utilized to cyclize the molecule. Methyl groups at C8 here transfers to C14 and from C14 it transfers to C13 to form a molecule of dimethyl substituted compound that is lanosterol. You can see the shifting of electrons to cyclize the molecules. Here first shift, here lies the second shift, here is the third shift, this is the fourth shift to cyclize this structure. It forms a molecule of lanosterol. Having methyl group on 14th position, 13th position and dimethyl substitution on 3rd, 4th position. Conversion of lanosterol to cholesterol is in process 5. Here,
action of NADPH results in removal of methyl group at C40 in the form of a formic acid molecule. This removal of formic acid methyl group in the form of a formic acid molecule converts it into this 14 desmethylanosterol. 14 desmethylanosterol then loses both the methyl groups at C4 to form zymosterol. Zymosterol then undergoes isomerization whereby the pi electrons are shifted to position 7. This forms 724 cholestine dienol. The dienol isomerizes to desmosterol where the site of unsaturation at C7 is reduced and a site of unsaturation is formed at C5. Finally, the structure of cholesterol differs from the structure of desmosterol in this site of unsaturation at C24. It is reduced and finally cholesterol is formed. Thank you.